everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature, and today we're going to learn a little basic geology. Have you ever wondered what the difference between a rock and a mineral is? Or just what the heck a mineraloid is? Well, if you want to find out, stick around. It's coming up. Now, to some people, a rock is a rock. But when is a rock actually a mineral? Minerals are naturally occurring substances with specific structures, and a rock is just a combination of two or more minerals. For example, quartz, feldspar, and biotite are all minerals, but you combine them together and you get granite. Think of it sort of like a cake. The flour, eggs, sugar, and other ingredients are all separate components. Each one is unique and different and come from separate places but you mix them together, add just the right amount of heat, maybe a little pressure, and voila, you have a cake. So take chlorite, muscovite, a little bit of quartz, and you get schist. Calcite with quartz, pyrite, and graphite, that's marble. There are also three different classifications of rocks. Igneous is formed by the solidification of molten rock. Metamorphic, as its name might suggest, is when different types of rocks are changed into something else due to high pressures or temperatures. And sedimentary rocks are formed by the layering of different sediments, like silt, mud, sand, things like that, over millions and millions of years until they are formed into rocks. Those are my favorite. So that's kind of the basics of rocks and minerals. But have you ever heard of this strange little family called mineraloids? So before we find out what a mineraloid exactly is, let's take a moment and learn the strict criteria that must be met in order to qualify as a mineral. Firstly, minerals must be all natural. Nothing man-made qualifies. Second, they must be non-organic. Non-organic means that they are non-living in origin. Number three, they must be solid. This one seems obvious, but I'm looking at you, Mercury. Number four, minerals must have a definite chemical composition. For example, halite is sodium chloride. And finally, number five, they must have an ordered atomic arrangement. Now that's just what gives minerals their specific shapes. This is why fluorite likes to be in a cube and beryl, for example, likes to be in hexagons. So if any of these criteria are not met, a substance cannot qualify as a mineral. Therefore, it gets classified as a mineraloid. Some mineraloids include jet, amber, moldavite, pearls, mercury, obsidian, and opals. So what exactly are these guys missing that disqualifies them from being real minerals? Well, let's take a closer look at a few of them. How about jet and amber? Well, let's take a look. Jet is formed from very densely compressed plant material, where amber is fossilized tree sap. Now, you know what that means, right? Those are organic in origin. Trees, plants, it was a living thing. It's organic, not a mineral. What about obsidian and opal? These are two of my favorites. But they're not minerals, of course. They're mineraloids. Obsidian is a naturally occurring volcanic glass, while opal is a hydrated amorphous silicate. That means it's a silica-based glass-like material with a high water content. What do you think these are missing? It's the ordered atomic arrangement. Neither of these mineraloids have a specific crystal structure. Obsidian is formed when lava is cooled very quickly, and it's a natural glass. Opal isn't technically a glass, but it is a silicate with no crystal structure. Well, there you go. Now you know why rocks are rocks, why minerals aren't rocks, and all about those kooky fun mineraloids. Now, go unleash your newfound knowledge on the world, and we'll see you next time on Everything Nature. If you love learning about cool nature -y things, you should like this video. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, and you can even check us out on Facebook. Thank you very much. It's missing that specific. Uh, the, it's the ordered, not a specific. Uh, blah, 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 blah.
Oi, oi, oi.